All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we're fucking talking about this whole fake weights bullshit. What is going on? Larry Wheels doing fake weights? Dude, what the fuck is going on? I mean, what, like what? Wasn't it Brad Castleberry who started this whole shit and now it's ending with Larry Wheels? Dude, like, we go from Brad Castleberry to Athlean next to ah, there was one more who the fuck was it you know then we have sylvester stallone and now we have larry wheels and possibly bradley martin it's like what is going on dude so guys to give you guys a little bit of a clarification of what i'm talking about here is i'm talking about how larry wheels posted a video that i'm gonna show you motherfuckers right now it's a video of him basically pressing two plates right so i mean technically speaking two plates as you would probably presume it to be right i mean fucking 225 it looks like there's just 245s on each uh you know barbell right no four four did i just say two what the fuck you would assume that there's you know four fucking 45 plates on each barbell right so that would equal to 225 and and in total of 450 so it looks a little bit misleading but according to larry wheels he actually said it was actually 185 on each side but the whole problem is that greg Doucette called his ass out and not only him but you know you know bradley martin is like that because it's like been a trend for the last like year and a half or so you know you'll see somebody bench pressing some heavy fucking weight right but you know what it's social media people have to one up everybody so what the fuck do they do they grab not just one barbell but two and fucking bench that motherfucker right so literally you know we have people like for example bradley martin he's bench pressing two plates on each side and is it fake is it not and then we, you know we have larry wheels which i mean by the looks of it it looked like 225 on each barbell i'm gonna be honest with you who's right who's wrong because we have a lot of controversy fucking going on about greg Doucette accusing larry larry wheels i mean the guy's fucking strong as shit why would he need to fake his lifts or mislead people the guy's already strong as shit to begin with he's stronger than most people in the entire fucking planet why would he need to fake you know lifting you know weights that he's actually not lifting like why you know it's kind of weird so it's a little bit funny guys i did take larry's side in the beginning but if you actually fucking think about it it's actually his fault low-key and here's why so initially greg called larry wheels out right because he's like that is definitely not uh you know 225 on each side and then larry posted a fucking video that he actually took down i believe actually let me go check yeah so he took down a video that he posted on instagram loki calling out greg this i mean he said greg in the the video i believe and basically he's talking about how you know he never lifted fake plates they're not fake and they're actually, it's just not 225, it's 185. So basically, initially, there's a 45 on the front, uh, you know, portion of the bar, right? And then behind the 45 plate, there is a, uh, I believe, 25 plate. So a 45 plate and a 25 plate. Now, I'd be like, okay, you know, he posted that two years ago. And, you know, he's basically trying to, you know, to back himself up saying that this was two fucking years ago. And if you actually watch the video, he even says it himself that it's 185 or, you know, whatever. You could see the plates going up on the bar. Here's the fucking problem. Here's the fucking problem why okay let me just ask you guys a fucking question behind the screen right you are on either a bench press a squat rack or you are going to do i don't know shoulder pressing right you're gonna do military press whatever when you load up your plates do you load them up inward or outward now depending on what you say i'm assuming most of you would say inward okay but even if you fucking say outward okay good for you pal good for you chuck good for you if you fucking put it, regardless of whatever, whatever, ugh, what the fuck, I can't even talk. Regardless of whichever way you put it, you would obviously, I would assume, put it evenly, right? So if you're going to put it inward, then you're going to put the other side inward as well, right? How come Larry didn't do that? So this is a little bit fucking sketch. You see the video and he puts the front uh, of the barbell right the the 245s of the front he puts them facing the camera then the plates that are according to him you know 25 plates he puts them behind the 45 plate and then behind where the camera would catch it from the back angle he puts a 45 plate on the opposite fucking side and he puts it underneath and then the 25 plate behind that 45 to keep it hidden just because of the fact that they are both the same fucking size plates relatively so he low-key misleading people i don't know if you want to argue with me i know i might get some fucking dislikes up in this bitch i'm not trying to be a larry wheels hater i fucking love larry wheels dude larry's a fucking g and so is you know greg i mean sometimes you know he low-key could be acting like a grandma when he you know starts screaming saying he's on pd listen 
Okay, he's low key right on this one. All right, and I didn't fucking expect this. I thought he was just having like a little tantrum or he was on his period or some shit. But like, yo, he's actually fucking right, low key. Oh my god, someone's calling me. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, look at you, with your fry ass. All right, all right, hold on. I'm making a video. Whoa, yo, yo, can I be in the video, bro? I got something to say to the world, man. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, I gotta go. Yeah, so, you know, basically, I think that Greg is right in this situation. Now, Larry did post a video on YouTube, and I, I think we should all react to it, because it's not long at all. It's literally, like, 36 seconds, so it's not fucking long at all. So, I'm gonna react to it. You guys are gonna see my reaction, because it's the only video that he's uh, relatively even fucking, like, I guess, uh, responding to of the whole situation, so... Let's, let's fucking see this shit. The question is, was Larry Wheels using fake weights or not? Checked out the comment section of my latest shoulder press 51 pressing a barbell in each hand. It is 185 pounds in each hand. There is a 20 kg iron plate and a 25 pound rubber bumper plate. If you want to verify this, go on YouTube, search craziest shoulder press you've ever seen. In that video, I show all my warm ups. It's a lengthy video where you can see me using all the plates for that particular lift. So it's again, 185 pounds in each hand. I've never used fake weights and never will. Okay, uh, one thing really quickly. I'm not saying he used fake weights cause he didn't use fake weights, clearly. I mean, he had the fucking video posted two years ago, but he did use fake weights. I mean, like, I, I know I'm kind of being a little extra here, but he did use fucking fake weights when he was mocking and, you know, you know, Brad Casabre, when he was fucking around with him, he mocked Brad Casabre into benching like, what was it, six or seven plates on each side on the bench press. So he did use fake plates before. I mean, maybe in terms of him, I guess, trying to say like, never use fake plates intentionally to try to mislead people. Maybe that's what he was saying, but he has used fake plates in the past. So obviously he's trying to take shots at Greg because the first thing you see in the video is Greg's angry neck veiny ass face. He's mother, he's fucking pissed. He is fucking mad, okay? I mean, I, to me, it's it's not that big of a deal, mainly because the fact that I don't give a shit. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really give a fuck. And I'm pretty sure most of you don't as well. I mean, it's one thing to actually add fake plates and make it, like you know extremely exaggerated right and then it's another where it's like this situation because like you know in terms of that you know it's kind of discrediting people who do powerlifting and shit like that to the uh broad audience that will see a video of for example brad castleberry i guess i don't know uh for example squatting eight plates on each side or some shit right clearly he's not fucking strong enough to do that but it discredits the actual people who are you know into powerlifting and strongmen and all that shit because, you know, the main audience do not really know and are not too informed on necessarily how that's fake or why that's fake. So they'll believe and be like, that guy's fucking strong. Then when they see somebody who's, you know, actually legitimately lifting weight, but maybe it's not as heavy, they'll probably be like, oh, I've seen somebody stronger, you know? So Loki discredits that other person's fucking, you know, work ethic, I guess you could say. Uh, but in this case, the guy's not lifting fake plates, right? He had a fucking bumper plate in the back, but... To say he's not misleading people, I mean, listen, I'm 19 years old. I know, I'm pretty, you know, I'm decently young. I'm a teenager still, but I wasn't fucking born yesterday, Larry. Come on, man, come on. It is clear as day that when you reposted, because he did repost that video that he made two years ago on his Instagram, not even, I guess, labeling the weight he lifted in that video at, on Instagram. So he tried to get away with, you know, people low-key thinking it's 225 on each side. To think that, you know, he wasn't trying to mislead people is far by me. I mean, come on, fucking people. Like, let, let's be honest here. He was low-key trying to mislead people. And, you know, obviously, years ago, Brad Castleberry started this whole bullshit. Obviously, that's how he got known. And, you know what? Fun fact, he actually fucking blocked me on Instagram because I made, like, two videos on the guy. He blocked me because I called him out on this fucking bullshit. But, okay, I don't know how he fucking blocked me. I never tagged him on the video or anything so he must have found the video on youtube and said oh let me go to this fucking piece of shit's instagram okay mm -mm -mm. black fucking asshole greg also says that maybe bradley's a part of this shit but who knows bradley doesn't even fucking give a shit he hasn't even like spoke and gave in a word about this whole thing so obviously he doesn't give a flying fuck do you think larry was not trying to mislead anybody even though he fucking coincidentally i guess you could say had a 45 play right in the front where the fucking camera is going to show up right in front of it, then the bumper plate behind it, and then the fucking, you know, behind, all the way in the back of the barbell, 
the 45 play where if it was evenly put it would be vice versa the opposite way place but no it was placed with the number saying 45 and it was not even placed on the edge like the other one was in the front of the barbells it was placed in the back and then the bumper plate was placed behind that plate so it's a little bit fucking sus and a little bit odd to say that wasn't low-key uh on purpose i don't fucking know but without further ado that's what i'm you know talking about what do you guys think do you think greg's a piece of shit do you think larry's a piece of shit who do you think's a piece of shit maybe it's this fucking asshole that you're watching right now i don't fucking know i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below who's right who's wrong who do you even do you even give a shit who, like what's going on but yeah guys uh it's your boy kevin ds from cool aesthetics make sure to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't fucking already and once again it's your boy kevin ds from cool aesthetics and we're fucking out see you